What's up guys? Baker here. Got a very exciting tutorial today. This is the homemade um, Digifix damage preset that I made. If you know me, uh, I can't get, you know, can't get every plugin. So I try to replicate them uh, using expressions and presets and built-in After Effects effects. So if you know my, uh, I made another preset for uh, RGB split twitch, um, that's pretty cool. But here I'm making a Digifex damage kind of effect, and it looks pretty similar. Got some cool bars and uh, distortion almost. <coughs> but what's cool about this is you can adjust anything you want with this. So you can make uh, you know make the things brighter, or make it uh, you know really dark or something or weird. Yeah. So pretty pretty customizable. I like it. And um, here's what you do. Go ahead and download the file in the description. It's a After Effects presets file, FFX. And to uh, quote unquote install it, all you got to go to is, um, it's going to be a little bit different on PC, but just go to your After Effects and go to your presets folder, not plugins, presets. And just make your own custom folder, call it custom presets. And you can put in your uh, homemade DigiFX or have some other. CCs and I got my synchronizer if you have that. Um, another very good plugin I made myself. Preset plugin, whatever. So once it's in there, it's installed. Then all you gotta do is click this button here. And just kidding, it's this one up here and refresh your list and then it'll show up. So here's the main thing. So let me just uh, get these out of the way. We need to make a new solid. <coughs> Call this, um, I don't know, mat. Go ahead and type in your homemade, oops, homemade DigiFX Digi damage. Drag that on, and we just get these cool bars. And the fully customizable, we can change the size, the speed, everything. It will go over that. And then we just make an adjustment layer. Put it right underneath the mat. Use the alpha mat, no, luma mat, so it only shows up on the white parts of the, uh, the mat that we had. And then we can add our own effects. So things I like to do is like um, offset. Put that on your adjustment layer. And just offset it to the side. And you can see it kind of uh, gets offsetted to the side. And uh, probably want to brighten it up a little bit so you can kind of see it. So I'll drag on some curves maybe. Brighten it up or actually darken it. Get some damage looking effects. So that's pretty cool. You can add maybe, maybe some... Twitch, let's see what that looks like. So maybe some random slide with some RGB split. I don't know. So maybe you got some cool colors coming in now. So pretty cool. Homemade DigiFX damage. So if you're wondering how I did this, we'll take a look here. Turn on my mat. I started with a fractal noise mess with a couple of settings and mess with the um, evolution just to make it wiggle and animate randomly then I use the mosaic to get the bars <coughs> and you can adjust the size and how many you want so vertical bars is that one I forgot what this was at there and then you can change the size this way for horizontal but um, what I had it at looked pretty good um, levels just to crush out some of the faded ones like that okay and then the posturized time that's because this would go every single frame but if I do this it changes it to 15 frames a second so it's kinda like laggy so not too fast and around 15 to 20 it looks pretty good what I've found but again all you do is adjustment layer with the luma mat and you can put on anything you want on the adjustment layer and it makes it pretty cool. So, go ahead and download this. Enjoy this free little preset if you don't have damage. Um, I thought it was pretty fun making this. I thought it was pretty sweet. So if you have any other plugins that uh, you think might be possible to make, like I can't make like Plexus or something. I don't have the programming knowledge to do that. But um, anything simple like this might be pretty cool. So let me know. Uh, make sure to leave a like, favorite, comment, share, I don't know, whatever you want. And, um, yep, that's it. Okay, bye.